The nervous system is an important thing to consider when it comes to the pelvic region. The pelvis house a lot of sympathetic, parasympathetic, and motor plexus. You have your lumbar plexus from T12 to L4. You have your sacral plexus from L4 to S4. The sciatic nerve originates and passes through the pelvis. And you have your coccygeal plexus also. So the sacral sympathetic trunks are extension of the lumbar sympathetic chain. Uh, and they fuse over the coccyx to form the ganglion impars. The parasympathetic nerves of the pelvic splanchnix also arise from S2 to S4, and that goes and supplies parasympathetic innervation uh, to the left colon and then uh, to most of the organs within the pelvis. So the vagus nerve uh, from cranial nerve 10 comes down and generally supplies parasympathetic innervation to most of the organs of the abdomen, uh, the heart, lungs, and most of the gut whereas the uh, sympathetics um, are provided from the sympathetic chain, and now the parasympathetics of the pelvis uh, and the distal gut is provided from S2 to S4. And so this is really important to distinguish uh, where the parasympathetic innervation starts uh, and also the different organs that are innervated by the sacral plexus as opposed to the vagal nerve. Additionally, you have the inferior hypogastric plexus. Uh, both are parasympathetic and sympathetic fibers. Uh, there's a smaller plexus uh, to the rectum, bladder, and uh, prostate, uterus, and the vagina. The pelvis houses a lot of different uh, viscera. Uh, as a container, it holds the uh, GI system, uh, the GU, and also the reproductive organs. There are many different ligaments that help to support the structures within the pelvis. These ligaments help to carry vessels and nerves and helps to innervate these organs. And so um, some important ones to be familiar with include the lateral ligament of the bladder, the carnal ligament, which becomes the uh, base of the broad ligament, and the uterosacral ligaments. You also have uh, another view here where you could uh, appreciate some of the additional ligaments, including the median ligament of the bladder, uh, uterosacral ligaments, uh, the broad ligament, which you can't picture here, but it actually connects to the carnal ligament uh, labeled S4, uh, the suspensory ligament of the ovary, and the round ligament. So the pelvis plays a large role with uh, respiration and circulation. Um, the abdominal diaphragm and pelvic diaphragm kind of have to work together uh, for breathing. So um, when um, you have your uh, abdominal diaphragm descend, when you take a deep breath in, the pelvic diaphragm also has to descend. Um, and then when you exhale and recoil, the pelvis also comes up. And so this sort of pumping motion, if you imagine two different cylinders, helps to drive motion and movement to improve circulation, to improve uh, lymphatic flow and movement throughout the abdomen. If the uh, abdominal diaphragm is restricted or if the pelvic diaphragm is restricted, that is going to limit the amount of excursion uh, the diaphragm has. So uh, pelvic motion, when, and when it's uh, free from restriction, is important for optimal function for all the different organs uh, that sit and reside above the uh, pelvis and also for the motion available at the thoracic abdominal diaphragm.